Your Excellencies, uh, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for joining me here today. I wanted to personally speak with you about uh, recent changes in the government. I recognize that uh, these changes may create some questions with our friends and partners, and I want to reassure you that this policy, that the policies of the government have not changed and will not change. There were some significant domestic political developments in the last few days. But I want to stress that these are purely domestic issues. And they will not affect our foreign relations. Uh, yesterday I appointed uh, a new uh, defense minister, Mindia Janelize, who uh, many of you already know. And he is going to be uh, an excellent minister of defense. And under his leadership, cooperation with your countries will continue and grow. We will also be announcing our new foreign minister in the near future, and the new Euro-Atlantic integration minister. And I believe you'll find this, these individuals to be more than up to the task and someone with who uh, you can work closely with to further strengthen relations between our countries. And let me be clear, clear uh, while individuals and political alliances within the government may change. Our commitment to Euro-Atlantic integration is steadfast. It is not only our top foreign policy priority, but it's also the, the will of the Georgian people, who we are honored to serve, and who elected us as a government. So Georgia's European choice is and will be irreversible. We have stronger democratic institutions and a more uh, plural political climate than just a few years ago. Every individual interest group enjoys freedom of expression and association, freedom to form or join a political party, freedom to participate in elections and elect representatives. My government and our coalition, Georgian Dream. We are fully committed to these values and to ensuring that they continue to form the strong foundations of a democratic Georgian state. Georgian nation deserves a political opposition that is willing to work constructively with the government to move this country forward and to continue our path to Euro-Atlantic integration. It was my hope that free Democrats who led the coalition yesterday would remain a part of the governing coalition. But I hope that once the dust settles, they will engage with the government in a thoughtful and constructive manner. They are good and decent people who have much to offer their country. And um, in truth, uh, their presence in the opposition will make Georgia's demo democracy even stronger. So while I'm an, unable to get into the specifics of the Ministry of Defense investigation, I can tell you that uh, there are some serious allegations that require investigation. There are some serious questions and doubts, so it needs to be investigated. And as I've stated many times before, fighting corruption is a top priority for my government. And we are uncompromising in exposing potential corruption, no matter which agency or minister is involved. The Georgian people deserve an efficient government, devoid of corruption or abuses of power. Unfortunately, public res response from uh, Iraq al Asania to the investigation process was irresponsible. and it damaged the country's image. A member of the government should not be making accusations that seek to undermine our relations with, the, with our European and Euro-Atlantic allies for their own political reasons. And I personally see the Euro-Atlantic path as the only path to a peaceful and prosperous Georgia. This is the core of our government's mission. Now we have to continue to move forward 
working hard every day to serve the dreams of the Georgian people. And in closing, I hope you understand how much we value our, our relations with our international allies. You are our friends. And I don't want you to ever doubt our full commitment to Europe as integration. Thank you very much for your attention. We can continue our discussion. Thank you, uh, Miriam.